Hi, fellow Earthlings. I'm coming to you from the northwest corner of my living room in northeastern Connecticut with uh, what hopefully will be a whole little series of what I'm calling uh, Wednesday evening musicales. Short little concerts, um, maybe with a plot, maybe with, with uh, song suggestions. It's all evolving, as we all know. So tonight I'm thinking about Earth Day, uh, because it's been 50 years since Senator Gaylord Nelson in Wisconsin uh, dreamed up this event he thought was going to be a one-day sort of regional thing, and lo and behold, 50 years later, here we are. And so I wanted to do a few things in, in honor of Earth Day tonight. I don't know where you were on Earth Day, if you were even on the planet yet, if you were even on Earth, but I was part of a high school walkout to pick up trash off of our off of our lawn outside the high school. It was a, a, a genuine, uh, earnest gesture, and obviously we still have a long way to go. Wendell Berry has a great um, a little snippet of his poetry that, that uh, travels with me wherever I go. It is perhaps when we no longer know which way to go that our real journey has begun. The mind that is not baffled is not employed. The impeded stream is one that sings. And if you want to sing with me on the chorus of this song, you'll, it's a line that comes up over and over again. Feel free. If you feel a little silly singing into a screen, well, you're not alone. <laughs> Queens lace and chicory brighten up the roadside. Swallows on the power line counting the cars. She's in the northward flow from the city. In a few more hours she'll be sleeping beneath the stars. She's at a bend in the river, carry her out of sight. Bend in the river, surprise her in the night. Bend in the river, there's always one more turn, and there's always one more lesson you got to learn, yeah. It was a hot early evening in late July. Scorpio aimed at the moon. He was singing Motown to the washing machine when he heard the song of a loon. He shut his mouth to hear it came from deep within. He knew that something was peculiar indeed. And when a voice from the dryer said, you better move, boy, it was a voice he thought he ought to heed. Yes, it was a voice that he chose to heed. It brought him to a bend in the river Well, it carried him out of sight Bend in the river Surprised him in the night Bend in the river There's always one more turn And there's always one more lesson You've got to learn mm -hmm. You can run, stand and still, talk loud Say you're nothing for the better part of a lifetime And then one righteous day It's your heart starts talking Says I'm here to claim what's mine Yeah, I'm here to recover what's mine Looks like I got here in the nick of time Thunder rolling in from the western sky Tickles your belly and your brain Crimson sky looks likely to burn And everybody's praying for rain But you can't pray for light And curse the dark Cause they've been lovers for a long, long time And if you find yourself a little too dry inside Look for water in a new state of mind there may be water in a new state of mind. You bring us all to a bend in the river. Well, it carries us out of sight. Bend in the river. Surprise us in the night. Bend in the river. There's always one more turn. And there's always one more lesson. Yeah, there's always one more lesson. And there's always one more lesson. We got to learn was empathy ever after that Well, I'm going back to Wisconsin here, interestingly enough, in the, in, uh, the late 1980s. 
I was doing a benefit for a coalition of environmental groups uh, all over Wisconsin. We were at the Barrymore Theater. Those of you Wisconsinites out there know that place. And right before the concert, I got to do some, um, some PR um, with a TV station in town um, on their Live at Five program. There was a little thing coming into my ear with the wonders of technology. Just think of where we've come now. And, um, and it, promptly at five, this, this mellow voice came crooning into my ear. Here we are with Claudia Schmidt, singer, songwriter, poet, storyteller, and so, so much more. And I stood there on stage listening to her, and my lip was going yang, yang, yang. Because I, I knew that before five, she'd never heard of me before, and, and she presumed... Uh, a, a sort of intimacy like we'd been sitting around all afternoon drinking herbal tea and talking about the earth. You know, it was Earth Day. And so uh, then she asked her question. She said, so, Claudia, what got you interested in the earth? And I waited for a minute thinking, well, where's she going from here? And then it dawned on me, well, this is TV. This is her big question. So I better make this my big answer. So I said, well, I live here. And if I, had, if I had already written this song then, it didn't come out until a few years later, I believe this is the song they, uh, they would have uh, sort of dissolved into to get me off the air and, uh, and complete my sound bite in Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> Crow crossing a slate sky. Black crow crossing a slate sky. Half the country's burning up. We know why. Brown water covering our town. Muddy brown water climbing up our town. Yesterday was tinder dry, today we're about to drown. Forces way out beyond us are having a world, asking us to decide to belong to this world. Ooh, and sea green, bring it to our door. Green, bring it right to our door Where you take the poison in so deep You wash the sickness up on the shore Ooh, and red scare sneaking back around Red scare sneaking back around Hate has found a snowball Ooh, you got to listen for the sound Of white lies crossing a man's Lips. What lies crossing a man's lips? But he's supposed to win our trust. How far does he think we've slipped? I heard you say we're too smart to be in such a haze. Well, if it's so clear, why? Linger too long. Blue time don't linger too long. You got to get the madness out. Mm, got to move. Stay strong. Yeah. And black crow crossing the sleigh sky. Black crow crossing the sleigh sky. Half the country's burning up. We know why, yeah, we know why, ooh, we know why, mm, we know why. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh.
When I was just a baby performer in Chicago in the early 1970s, uh, I was part of a fundraising series of concerts to take some inner city Native American kids up to a place in Ontario, uh, Ontario called the Voyager Wilderness Program. And it's part of Quetico Provincial Park, um, a place I'd never heard of. And not only did I do the benefits, but I ended up somehow getting roped into going on the trip as a tenderfoot counselor. Um, never been to a wilderness area before, never on a canoe trip, and um, here I was uh, with, these, with these city kids. And um, coming from the city, they carried a lot of baggage with them that wasn't necessarily meant to ride in a canoe out into the bush for a week. And the first couple of days were really rough. There was a lot of hostility, and I found myself completely just torqued out going, what was I thinking? How did I end up here? What, what is this? So this is the wilderness, because you know, whatever you're feeling in that place is amplified. And by about the third day, those kids, um, they understood, they suddenly understood what they'd been given and what they were having an opportunity to experience. And their little bodies just sort of sprang up in the canoe. You could just see on every level that they, they were present. Uh, they, they had such an amazing time the rest of the week, as did we all. Um, and by the time we got back to the little island in Nim Lake, where Voyager Wilderness Program uh, was, we were all changed. We were changed. I think about those kids sometime, sometimes and wonder if it was something they carried with them. It certainly has been for me. I, I came back to Chicago. I did one more gig I had that summer and went back up to the little island in Nim Lake and, and just stayed and sang for the kids going out and coming back in to earn my keep. And um, I, I helped finish the song that my friend Bob Gibson had started. He was one of the people who, who did the fundraising for the, for the Native American kids. And so uh, I wanted to do that song in, in honor of Earth Day. It's called Quetico. <laughs> Quetico I just don't know what else to do I need to come back home to you again To ease my pain To breathe the air, to hear a loon To touch the stars, to feel the moon It sets my soul to singing once again Well, I'm lost and so alone here in this throng I've lost the sight of right and wrong Oh, it's been so long To see God's creatures running free Alive and in the place they ought to be no cause for fright and time is when you stop and when you start go live the part of a voyager of Indian take all you need to live within a strong canoe that takes you to the heart aquatic crystal clear return it in each joyful tear that falls to share it all with someone else like you and me who never felt so sure or free as when we met the land and heard the call to Quetico Ooh, Quetico Wrong. We've lost the sight of right and wrong Oh, it's 
It's been so long to smell the air, to hear a loon, to touch the stars, to feel the moon. Sets my soul to singing once again. Quetico, Quetico. I'm going to take um, a little pause here so I can fire up the dulcimer rig for the other part of this little Earth Day Wednesday evening musical concert. Um, you can stick around, hopefully, and hear the rest. It'll just be a second. Um, uh, we will sh there, if you like, you can visit my website, claudiaschmidt.com, and there's a little tip jar there. If you feel like floating a little green energy my way, that would be much appreciated. Um, in any case, enjoy the music, and I will be back in just a second. Welcome back. I have my wonderful dulcimer here, my mountain dulcimer, to do a couple of songs on. And uh, I'm struck with, uh, with, the, with the wonder uh, that's going on now. Because we've slowed down and we're staying in our houses, I keep hearing the stories about the animals, the pigs in the Paris markets, and uh, a coyote on Michigan Avenue, and penguins strolling down the hallway of... of uh, of at least two different aquariums, kind of having a look around at the other at the other uh, exhibits. Um, it's an incredible thing, and um, I wanted to do a couple of things, just kind of celebrating wonder. <laughs> One spring day, maybe my first trip ever out to New England, I was driving through state forest, national forest, um, along I-80, and it was a little earlier in the season than this, so the, uh, the trees had this kind of in-between, a kind of fuzzy look to them, and just a little bit of redness, like they were kind of irritated with possibility. And... And I'm driving along looking at this scenario. And um, so they weren't really buds yet. They were kind of like pre-buds. And I had this little sort of hallucination alone in the car that um, above my head was hovering one of these pre-buds, which I, I guess I think of as the spokes bud. And it was just kind of hanging up there above my head, sort of going, <laughs> any minute now which is kind of how most of us are feeling in our houses about this time. So I got to the back room where I was performing that night and uh, was gifted with this song, uh, which I'm going to play in honor of the, of the exploding forsythia all around my neighborhood anyway at this time. This is called Fanfare for Forsythia.
always been the place you go, it seems like, at least growing up in the Midwest, to get away, to shed the artifice and to kind of get real and get clean. Um, growing up in Michigan, it was going to the Upper Peninsula. I live in New England now. It's people going up to Maine and Minnesota. It's people going up to the North Shore or the, or the Quetico or Boundary Waters. And there, there just is that thing in the North, is a kind of bleakness that... Uh, that takes away all the artifice. So I was driving across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan a few years ago, and I was gifted with um, all these images just started pouring in the, in the car and into my car windows, and I was just kind of taking notes. And so I think of this song as my, as my thank you note to the Upper Peninsula, but just all the, all the wild places as well, um, that, they, that they are there, that they are still there, and uh, not... Um, to serve us, uh, but just that they are there, um, and we have the we have the opportunity to go and be part of it. It's I feel very humble and grateful for that. So this is a song called "Out Here." Out here, the trees keep their secrets. And the stars look the other way Out here the moon hangs a cloud for cover So darling you can stay Stay till the question burning in your soul is answered Stay till your body is flooded with relief Stay till the fear is lifted off you like a mist And you can kiss the grief Oh, you can kiss the grief Goodbye Out here, there's no one asking where you came from or just how long you plan to stay and Out here you've got all the time you need to weep Or sleep or pray Weep for the things you lost Not knowing you were losing Sleep of the weariness that holds you in its touch if you will For all the ones like you Who never knew How very much A single loving touch Untied Unclench Your hand Unbind Your heart And 
prevent you from leaving just the way you came. But out here your voice rings so clearly, nothing's ever quite the same. No one is meant to stay out here forever. Everyone finds their way in trouble and despair. Raven keeps count of all the paths in and out. He circles in the air. We come from everywhere to try and try again to try out. That's it for this week. Happy Earth Day, and uh, I'll be back next Wednesday. Um, come back and join me again. Um, if you couldn't stay for all of this concert or uh, you heard about it afterward, you can go to YouTube and find it uploaded there or downloaded or whatever they call it. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get this lingo together. Um, and please visit my website, claudiaschmidt.com. There's a little uh, banner there with a little tip jar that looks a little like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And if you can uh, float a little green energy into that, I'd be very grateful. So be well. We're all in this together. See you next time.